Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we have entered into 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is The parable of the tenants are called to be fruitful. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today's readings challenge us to reflect on our role in God's plan and to live a life that is worthy of the gospel. The parable of the tenants in the gospel of Matthew reminds us that we are all stewards of God's gifts and that we will be held accountable for how we use them. The first reading from the book of Isaiah is a parable about a vineyard that is not producing fruit. The owner of the vineyard sends his servants to collect the fruit, but the tenants beat and kill them. Finally, the owner sends his son, but the tenants kill him too. This parable represents God's relationship with his people. God has sent his prophets and his son to call us to repentance and to bear fruit in good works but we have often rejected them and killed them. The responsorial psalm is a prayer of repentance and a plea for God's help. The psalmist sings, Restore us, O God of hosts, show us your face and we shall be saved. The psalmist also recognizes that God is the source of our life and our fruitfulness. He sings, You brought it from Egypt, you drove out the nations and transplanted it. The second reading from the letter to the Philippians is a reminder of the peace that comes from living in Christ. St. Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. St. Paul is telling us that we can have peace even in the midst of difficult circumstances. This peace comes from knowing that God is with us and that he loves us. The Gospel of Matthew tells the parable of the tenants in the vineyard. The owner of the vineyard plants a vineyard and leases it to tenants. When the time comes to harvest the fruit, the owner sends his servants to collect the rent. But the tenants beat and kill the servants. The owner sends more servants, but the tenants do the same thing. Finally, the owner sends his son, but the tenants kill him too. This parable is a powerful story about the consequences of sin. The tenants in the parable represents the people of Israel who had turned away from God and refused to bear fruit for him. Jesus' death on the cross was the ultimate sacrifice that was made to pay for our sins. The owner of the vineyard represents God and the tenants represent his people. The vineyard represents the world and the fruit represents the good works that God wants us to do. The tenants' refusal to produce good fruit represents our own sinfulness and our rebellion against God. But God's love for us is so great that he sent his own son to save us. Jesus' death and resurrection has made it possible for us to bear fruit in good works and to enter into eternal life. The parable of the tenants calls us to reflect on our own role in God's plan. We are all stewards of God's gifts and we will be held accountable for how we use them.
we can follow the example of the tenants by producing fruit in good works. This means living a life that is worthy of the gospel, a life that is marked by love, compassion and service. Here are some specific ways that we can bear fruit in good works. Pray regularly and read the Bible. Attend the Mass on Sundays and holidays of obligation. Go to confession regularly. Forgive others who have wronged us. We can pray for the people of Ukraine and for those who are suffering from war and violence. We can volunteer at a homeless shelter. We can donate to a charity that helps the poor and the marginalized. We can invite a friend or neighbor to Mass with us. We can share a Bible verse or a reflection from the homely with our family and friends. There are Bible quotes about the importance of bearing fruit in good works. Matthew 7, 16-18 A good tree can't bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree is known by its own fruit. For grapes are not gathered from thorns, nor figs from thistles. Matthew 5, 16 Let your light so shine before others, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Ephesians 2.10 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. 1 Corinthians 11.1 1. Be imitators of me just as I am an imitator of Christ. John 15, 5 I am the vineyard, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. There are some saints who said about bearing good fruit in good works. Saint Augustine said, The greatest gift that God can give us is faith, but the greatest gift that we can give to God is our love. St. Francis of Assisi said, The work of an evangelist is to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to the world, but the work of a Christian is to live the good news. St. Francis Xavier said, The best way to preach the gospel is to live it. St. Mother Teresa also said, We must not be afraid to do good works even if they are small. It is by small acts that we become great. St. Vincent de Paul said, The best way to do good is to do it quietly. At the end, dear brothers and sisters, the parable of the tenants is a reminder that we are all stewards of God's gifts and that we will be held accountable for how we use them. It is also a call to bear fruit in good works, to live a life that is worthy of the gospel and to help build the kingdom of God on earth. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. He is perfect example of how to bear fruit in good works. We pray that you would help us to follow his example and to live a life that is worthy of the gospel. Amen.